So for chapter 7, our problem here is number 72, part A. And it is asking us to find the frequency of light that is emitted in a hydrogen atom when it makes a transition from N4 to N equals 3. So we have one major formula that we use for this, and it is the delta E formula. And it is delta E equals negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. And then we have the parts with the n beneath it. n final squared minus 1 over n initial squared. So this is our starting formula. And you know I need to use this because you see a change in n. And it's asking for the frequency of light admitted. So now, when we take this, we realize N3 is our final, and N4 is our initial. So we're just going to plug it in to the formula, and we're going to get a delta E. And remember, your exponent is negative 18 over here. 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. And when you do the math on all of that, when you get the 1 one ninth minus the 1 16th, Overall, this is still a negative number, because this is going to be positive. So our negative, our energy is negative 1.06 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Now, this is not what that question is asking for. The question is asking for the frequency. And we know there's a formula for frequency related to energy, and that is... E equals H frequency. Remember, this V is really a Greek symbol, and it's not V, it represents frequency. And then we can plug in from here. So our E is going to be what we solved for up here, but let's plug in H and frequency first. So our H is, as usual, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 30. 4 joule seconds times our frequency. And now the trick of this E is you're probably thinking you can't have a negative number, right? Because we can't have a negative frequency. And if we plugged in a negative E here, we would have a negative number. But remember, E of the photon is what we actually found. This is E of photon. This E is E of the atom. And so they are opposite signs. So delta E of photon will equal negative delta E of the atom. So whatever our number here is, we're going to flip a sign, and that's how we get the 1.06 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So then joules and joules cancel. We'll divide by 6.626. 10 to the negative 34 seconds, since joules already canceled out, and that's how we get our per second as the unit of frequency should be. So our frequency, which is our symbol, equals roughly 1.6 times 10 to the 14 second inverse. So remember, you, you can double check because you know frequency is always going to be per second. And remember this relationship here, the photon versus the atom.